summarise if there was five things that you were going to take away from the day, really, to, to make sure that you you take forward and, and concentrate on. So um, I'm just going to leave you to those, and then we can we'll call it a day. So um, number one, again, one of the biggest things I said today: um, clean setup, clean and working. Set up. Okay? Because no then no matter what level you're at, it just makes your life easy. Like as easy as possible. Nice light loads, your centre board's in the right place, it's where things are where you want it to be. Cool. Um, number two, when the wind allows, I get that. <laughs> treat the rack as your deck. Hey, it's not an armchair. Grab one there, because that's your deck. Cool. And try not to hover in that weird kind of, of netty, trampy area. Cool. So treat your rack as your deck, straight onto it in your tax, and always in your tax roll so they're just above the water when you come back out. Okay? Um, number three, don't pinch. Okay, unless it's for tactical advantage, and you, or you're just trying to squeeze yourself around the mark, or you're trying to get someone off the top of you, don't pinch because you'll be really slow. Can you just keep the boat going fast? Can you please define pinch? So pinch, as in that you're going too close to the wind, so the front of your sail is just starting to lower. Um, what about if my telltales are starting to flap? Is that pinching? So as long as your telltales are streaming together nicely, so they need right. to be streaming, and if they start flapping, that's too much. Yeah, just okay. just so they're nicely streaming together. Yeah. Okay. So, so what you're really saying is don't don't spill the wind or lose power by feathering or pinching. Yeah. In other words, drive the boat rather yeah. than. Always draw the boat. I'm not. Don't say it like a laser, where where you know you're screwing up into the wind more. Stay straight. Don't head up. Stay straight. And if you're overpowered and you can't do any more, move by moving your weight out. That's always your first call, call, call. Then let you move out a little. Yeah. Okay. How how close to pinching would you sail? I mean, you know, in terms of degrees, you know. Two degrees, five degrees. Well, it's not how how close I would say <coughs> to pinching the act really of just going above that close hold position with your telltale streaming nicely. That is pinching if you're in the whole that whole region. So I, I'd suggest to try and just keep out of that entirely. Um, you just want to be nicely on the wind, your telltale streaming, and unless you need to, you need to get up to a mark, etc. Then maybe speed up into it a little bit. Um, and you can also lean your boat away slightly and that will screw you up a little bit, but try not to if you can. Okay, uh, that's three, four, dynamic movement, especially in your jibes. Okay, well, we spoke about that earlier. Make sure you're in, the, in a position so you're able to move rather than in a position so that you need to move, so you're able to move so then you can move. Okay, um, and that will really help your jibes. Um, it's not just when you, you're going uh, dead, nearly dead downwind. As we showed earlier, it, it makes it even more difference when you're on a tight jibe in more wind, because otherwise you'll just be knocked flat. You need to be getting out onto your rack, sitting when it's windy and you're coming through a jibe. Okay? So treat your rack as you're dead. And last but not least, we haven't touched on it too much today, um, and I, it hasn't really been the main focus. Um, but five for those of you, hopefully, who are maybe inspired today and haven't done it much before. If you're going to go out and do the open meetings, um, possibly nationals, etc., which it would be really great for you guys and for the class in general if you were to do that. Um, if I'm going to leave you with one thing for, for your racing, um, I would say that really your start is crucial. Okay? If there's one thing which you're going to focus on the most, it's on getting that start right. 
Okay, so you're on the line, on time, you've got a nice gap to leeward for you to be able to bear off a little bit into to maintain your speed and you're not going to get someone to squeeze you out and therefore you can get out in nice clear air. The guys who get out on the start line in nice clear air and punch out, they'll be away. Okay, so seriously, uh, I would implore you to try and get to an open meeting or even some of the bigger combined events um, and that would be a really, a really good thing to try and do after today. So I think that, I'm going to say thank you very much for coming.